Hey everybody, cheers here with some more Nexamon Extinction, and before we continue on with the story, I have to show you all the changes that have taken place, and we're also going to finish off the votes. I went and checked out where they are, I know the two I'm missing. So, first things first, you're going to see my companions changed, of course, but you're also going to see that my team has changed, and there's also some Nexamon I've captured that I, I want to show you too. Um, so first, I've been a busy bee. I've caught 303 Nexamon in the game. There are only, what, 70, uh, what was that, 78 left in the game for me to discover. What to capture? I don't know. I, I guess, this is, I've been crazy in Palmea, dude. Alright? So, let's get a look at the team. So, as you can see, Ryzen is still here. I switched out my my rock my mineral starter for for a tank i've been wanting to do it ever since i saw this thing i loved it um you also see that there's a shiny on my team i, I caught my first shiny or cosmic apparently how cosmics work on this game is um the more next mon you have captured and the more cosmic charms you have the higher chance you have of finding them so i actually found two cosmics I'm going to keep Glunch. I dropped Leonis for Glunch. Glunch is actually pretty powerful. And it's a psychic type, so it's pretty different. Um, I, the other... I have another uh, cosmic I found in Palmea. Um, but I just like Boil Gog so much better than that one. So I dropped Ace Gone. You see Ace is gone. Leonis is gone. And Dressar is gone. We've swapped half of the team. And now we're going to show you the things we've captured in Palmea. Alright? I don't think they would be in this box. They should all be, like, <clears throat> in the last box. I don't remember switching anything. I just want to go through real quick. I caught two Mimis. What was the point of that? That's weird. Um, let me make sure I didn't switch anything. But we did catch some Legendaries. I caught three Legendaries, guys. All in Palmea. Palmea is just that amazing. So you can see the various things I have found in Palmea, mostly in Palmea here. Some of them are from uh, from going into vaults, you know. But a majority of my captures are in fact Palmea, just different sections of Palmea. Uh, here's a, here's what a regular glunch looks like. Mine is like purple, like very looks at its food. I actually found oh crap actually found all three types of this Nexamon in Palmea, this little guy. This is the second evolution. I have the first and the third in here as well. We gotta find them. Here's the first form of them, Seeky. Uh, what else did I capture? I'm looking for my legendaries. I think the pretty sure they're on the last page. Um, let's see. And the shinies are not hard to pick out because they have that gold ring around them. Pretty cool. So I dropped Tressar in here. I was I actually tried the spider a little bit. I liked it a lot, but it just did not pack the punch I needed out of it. Um for a tank ended up being very beefy and hits really hard. I was also looking into Wazer's evolution, the war I think that's really cool too. Oh, here's one of the first legendaries. So this was one of Ziegler's Nexamon. I thought about putting this on a team, but I don't know if it's fair to have legendaries on the team. I mean, if I start struggling really bad, I may have to. Um, but right now, it's level... What's this? 56. Uh, 130 attack. And 200 HP. I mean, it's... It's pretty dang close to Glunch here. Uh, Glunch is 116 attack and 80 defense. I mean, they're... They kind of, there's gives and takes here. Uh, Glunch has got a little more health. I think I have cores on Glunch as well, though. I don't have any stat cores. So Glunch has a little more health than Doreen. But this Glunch is also three levels higher. So Doreen is definitely a stronger psychic type. Um, just less on the defense side. But Doreen is also not level 59. If I find I'm having troubles with Glunch, I will definitely plug Doreen in later on. Uh, so that's one legendary that we found in um, uh, in Palmea, and then over here we have more. 
my things in place. I actually had a baby one that I was going to train, and then I went and found the level 56 for a tank, and I'm like, screw this, I'm just going to use the, the new one, because the EVs in this game don't matter. And here is Ziegler. You can actually capture Ziegler in the wild. Caught him in Palmea. I thought about putting him on the team. Um, it was between having a Psychic type or a Ziegler, and I, and I think I went for my Psychic type for my Glunch, only because it's, you know... Uh, shiny is the only reason it's really there um aside from the shiny i think i'd probably i'd probably rather have doreen and the fact that doreen also runs a water move means i may not even need Haynock either um which means i would be replacing two nexamon which would open a spot maybe ziegler could come in depends on how much i'm struggling man we also call titan and uh, Titan's pretty awesome, but he doesn't learn Leech, and that's why Sense Roar is staying on a team. Um, but really cool. Titan is super cool looking. They're all really cool. And what else did we can? My poor Ace. Still very powerful, but he was just lagging behind. The, the big issue is Ace doesn't learn a stronger move than what he has already. Um... Boilgog does. He'll learn a stronger one later on. I think like at 65 or some crap, he gets a big move. And Boilgog also actually has a heal, which is huge. So it heals like 100 health in, in one turn, which is amazing. It's like, it's bigger than a, than a super potion, right? And uh, this isn't a shiny, but this is the regular color of Bomb Blast. And I have a shiny, I think, on... There it is. Can I swap him? Put him up here. So here we have a regular color, Bomb Blasta. Here we have shinies, like all purpley, pinky, you know. I prefer these colors. <laughs> I think they're cooler. But it's it's still a shiny, you know, it's still a cosmic, so it's still different. I tried him out. He doesn't have any heal abilities to keep him in the fight. Uh, so Boilgog ended up being the better choice. If I find a shiny Boilgog, then, then it's probably going to be over. <laughs> And these are just other things that I caught in Palmea. And here's the final form. Um, if I was going to drop Ryzen, I think this guy looks sick. I don't know. What are you guys? What's your guys' opinion? This guy looks so cool. I, I mentioned it the first time I saw him. And I found uh, Lugia, too, out in Palmea as well. Uh, this is on Palmea, too. It just, Palmea is just amazing. Anyway, we wasted enough time showing you our new team, showing you the things we've captured. I have been leveling up my team, clearly. I do have a level 60 now. Everyone's at least 55. The last time you guys saw me, everyone was like level 52 or something. So I had been working on my team in Palmea, capturing new things, and training in Palmea. Now, I want to knock out the volts today and be completely done with them. That's my goal today. So, I'm missing two. One of them is the Tribute of Wind. And that's because I didn't have the jump ability, but now I do. So now I can go back into the vault. I remember traveling in here and I was like, hey, it's just a regular cave. No, it, it was actually a vault. It was actually a vault and I just didn't know. Um, but it's going to get done today. And if I find a shiny Ryzen, it's over, dude. It's over. I'm kind of getting to a point where I'm like sort of memorizing the the bushes where some next mon appear in the uh, I forgot where to get to how to get to the thing um, but I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm memorizing the positions like which bush some next mon spawn in and um, I kind of know where to hunt stuff I know which map to find four tanks on there's certain maps that have a bunch of psychics and ghosts and there's certain maps that have a bunch of minerals there's certain sections on a map that has a bunch of fire Nexamon, water. If you you name it, Palmea is literally like a safari zone. Literally, it's literally a safari zone that you can go to right at the start of the game. Is it this way? It's probably up. It's probably the obvious way. Yeah, these dudes are here. Okay, here we go. So this was a dead end last time we came here because, well, I couldn't do anything. But, and you can't even see, oh, yeah, well, you could see land up there, but it just looks like nothing until you get this ability. So now we have the ability to uh, continue on. 
the ability to get this thing, and then we can get our other vote, and then we can continue on with the story, finally, because we've been dying to continue the story. I am aware. I'm aware. Whew. Man, I love Palmea. I am gonna catch them all, guys. I've already made up my mind. I'm gonna catch them all before I drop this game. I may not do it on video, but I would like to catch them all for, uh, just for myself. On video, we're gonna get the whole story. Ooh, Dragon Wolf, so nice. And that's a Wargoyle companion. Pretty cool. I thought about using him, but I, I love the turtle so much. Here's a Tribute of Tempest. And this is an Ultra Pit. Whoa, baby, what is that? What is an Ultra Pickaxe? Where is it? Mining ore yields more than usual. Ooh, I can get more than one per ore, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Hold on. There was a room. You know what? Screw it. Let's just get out of here. Let's go to the next one. Oh my god, that is so. Oh, here it is. Boom. I still got one. Well, I guess sometimes it's not all the time. So there we go. We got this one done. And, um, I'm gonna try to limit my capturing on video. I know I've done a bajillion videos of me just capturing things already, but, I don't know, I just wanna catch them. I want them all, man. I'm just addicted to trying to get them all. Let's, uh, I am gonna try my best not to, to do it so much, though. So let's go to the Outlands, and this is the one that we passed at the very start of the game. They had vines covering it. It's actually down here. Where are we? Is it down here? Am I going the right way? It might. It should be down here somewhere. It's one of these down here. It's down this area. One, two mine shot. Oh my god, guys! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is so amazing. I am so happy I made it here this time. I'm getting a little bit of some weird lag, it looks like. But here's Rapnux again. That was like the first Mega Rare we found in the game. Uh, hey, buddy. Ooh. I have no work to do with these plants blocking the entrance. Don't even bother, kid. I already tried using a fire type next month to burn these, but it wasn't enough. We'll need, we'll need to think of something to unblock the entrance. Hadouken! Now what? <laughs> Wow, did you burn those plants? We can finally work in the cave. Thanks, cheers. It's not much, but please take this. A hundred coins, I'll take that. I guess I was supposed to come here at the very early start of the game. And now we can get our last bolt, guys. Kind of excited about it. Where does this go? Let me let me uh, explore this level first before I get crazy. Oh, I can ice something. <laughs> Three Tempest Shards, oh my god. Dude, this pickaxe is so amazing. This pickaxe is so amazing, bro. Three shards in one go. Oh, and then I got one to make up for it, of course. I don't even care. Look at this. The occasional two and three is huge for me. I am disappointed I didn't get to catch the cosmics on video like you know live on video or during a recording but i'm still happy i got them and i just wanted to show you guys what those two look like um oh here's the vote already there's still things to explore here we can't just leave right away we're gonna finish uh we're gonna collect the vault right now and just be done with it and then we'll go walk around and finish the rest of the vault the rest of the cave here Oh my god. Guys, I've been stockpiling shards. You have no idea. Here for our final vault, guys. The final vault in the game. I now have all nine volts done. Let's go, baby. Oh my god, that pickaxe. Guys, as soon as you have the jump ability, go straight to, uh... Go straight over there to, uh, to Drake, Drake Isles. You have to. This pickaxe is phenomenal. I got three in one go. Holo Whoa, that is a cool companion. Tribute of power. We now have all the tributes. That is it. That is all she wrote, boys. We are prepared for whatever these tributes of powers mean. Um, 
Where do we go now? Ah, uh, where does this take me? Ho Hoppy! I remember the first time I had that that old man had it, the one that robbed me. I hate that old man. <laughs> Dude robbed me clean, man. Oh, okay, I see what's going on. I see, this is the main entrance down here, so we kind of just skipped an area, that's fine. So the whole right side is done. I'm always gonna keep encounters on because you never know I may run into a cosmic on video and that would be super sick. I've already run into two and I don't even have every Nexamon in the game, I'm just at 300. But I love the mechanic of the more of the Nexadex, <laughs> the Nexadex, I don't know if you can really call it that, but the more of the Nexadex, the database you have, wow, this place is insane, dude. The more of it you have, um, the higher chance you have of finding shinies, which I think is better than Pokemon's formula, which is you get the shiny charm after you've caught all 700 Pokemon, you know? It's like, by that, by that time, it's like, dude, do I... Do I want a shiny hunt? I'm already burned out from catching all 700, from trading from 50 different players. Uh, I have to evolve all these Pokemon via trading. I don't have any friends, you know. So I'm already burnt out. And that's what happened to me in Pokemon Shield. I caught them all, and I was completely burned out. I did not want a shiny hunt at all. I was done, right? Where am I going? Where? This is a huge cave, by the way. Not that I'm complaining, but geez, this place is loaded with shards. I think that's why they saved it for, uh, you know, you need to have the fire to open it. Um, let me see. Oh, I think we're done. Is this up? Yeah, we're actually done with this cave, guys. Um... Let's go ahead and continue with the story, then. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and move on. We have we have every thingling thing now. Uh, walking around feels a little laggy today. I don't know. Sounds a little off about it. Was it just that map? I don't know if it was just that map, but something feels a little off today. Whatever. The, the journey continues. So... We have to... Oh, we have to report to Tikala. Tikala! We have to go report to Tikala. And tell him that we've revived all the tyrants. I... Man. I can't wait. We're gonna get the new Nexamon game, too. It's not really new. It's like... this is So the game we're playing is Nexamon 2. We're supposed to be getting Nexamon 1 in a couple weeks. Um, by the time you see this video, Nexamon 1 most likely was out already. Because uh, I am uploading these videos extremely slow. But I have to pace myself between work and everything. I can't really rush, you know? Jers, how far have you come? Six tyrants at your very disposal. Once you defeat Vados, no one will dispute your right to rule. Become the absolute king of monsters and restore your dying, our dying planet. Do we really have to defeat Vados? I mean, maybe if we just talk to him. Absolutely not. Phaedos is not a tyrant. Phaedos is not even a real Nexamon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tuxedo Mask. Lobo jurors my king. Phaedos is the vile embodiment of Emily's arrogance. A weapon who will purge tyrants to the end of days, non-stop and nonchalantly. My king, you are a tyrant yourself. Do not forget that. As such, you will never be safe until Vados is annihilated. I will not allow such an aberration to lay a hand on you. What are you doing here? Oh, great chairs. I have sworn to aid you in every way I could. Observe, I have scoured the world to find you some allies. Uh-oh, the Power Rangers? Oh, oh! Bro, we're about to take on the guild heavy. Everyone here has called me a scrub at some point, except Lydia. Fantastic. 
and they've called me dumb before. <laughs> After all, what is a king without his vassals? Lobo looks real cool in this pose. Well done. As you have recruited the tyrants, I mustered the renegades for you. Those who were once forsaken by the guild will now stand by your side. Together, we will defeat Vados. We will defeat Emily. We will free this world from that woman's vile machinations. Lobo looking like a true superhero, bro. This is like, uh... Like Gundam here, the King of Hearts! <laughs> Why did you bring those psychopaths here? <laughs> we already have the tyrants, we don't need these guys. Jer is my king. Just like yourself, the almighty Omnicron was on the verge of conquering this world. So, so close. But he lost, he was slain by a group of puny humans, do you see now? Omnicron's greatest mistake was to underestimate mankind. You will not be like him, you will be more. He really believes in me. I need somebody like this in my life, guys. Someone that just believes in me. To overcome Vados, humans and Nexamon will have to work together. And you, you will lead us all to victory. Holy crap. Do I get Tikala now? I will drop, um, I might. I don't know if I want to drop my main dude for Tikal. Um, Ryzen, listen well, warriors of Jers. The dark aberration dwells in the heart of Param, the impregnable city. Hundreds, no, thousands of tamers lie within its walls. Therefore, we must lure Vados outside the city. We must drag him far, far away. Only then can our tyrants ambush him. Oh my god, we're planning an ambush. Any proposals? Oh ho, me? I have an excellent, most excellent idea. See the city on fire. The sheer heat will force Vado out and... Who invited this guy? <laughs> Jin, you dimwit. If we burn the city to us, Chris, there'll be nothing left for us to loot. <laughs> oh god an airship we must acquire an airship oh and what shall we do when we procure one well we crash it huh think about it guys Vados is always flying atop the city on the lookout for tyrants we can use an airship to drag him away from Param and crash him very far away while well, all our tyrants can finish him off for good together. Wow, Lydia's smart, boy. This game is messed up. <laughs> mm. Yes! My, my. This could most certainly work. The next step in our plan shall be to take control of an airship. The simplest way to get one is by becoming a Grandmaster of the Guild. The Tamers of that rank have ludicrous perks, such as that. If Jers were to be promoted to a Grandmaster, we could use his airship to drag Vados away from the city. Jers, you're a goat tamer. Yes, then you can apply for a promotion. There's a number of requirements to become a Grandmaster, but nothing our great King of Monsters cannot achieve. We shall stand by until you become a Grandmaster. <laughs> you must acquire an airship if we are to defeat Vados. Fine, guys. I will do my best. I get a thousand bucks. So when I get promoted, I'm going to get a thousand bucks, a go trap, and a perfect berry. Get on my level, and I know where to buy more perfect berries, bro. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Well, let's just do it. Let's, let's just, uh... So I gotta go talk to the lady. Uh, my life's not in danger right now. Where even were we? Hold on. Some of these houses I couldn't go into before because I was too low rank. Hey, this person used to kick me out, remember? Get out of my house! It's not like you guys were protecting anything. A guild tamer? What are you doing in my humble house? Make yourself comfortable. You're always welcome here. <laughs> Sure we are, dude. 
I don't know if we have the time to go through every house right now. I guess I could just take a peek. Because they used to kick me out. I'm literally just here to rob people. That's about it. That one's uh, kind of a fan. Do you know if my man has a wild from every element? Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually, I am aware, my lady. <laughs> That's why I have almost all of them. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Hey, Baldy. I don't... Oh, God, I don't remember if I searched every... Yep, I definitely searched this house. Okay. <laughs> I wish the houses that I was not allowed in had, uh, like, an item in there. Just let me know. What do you need? You need, uh, oh! You need an easy stuff for an XP booster. I'll take that. Thank you, old man. I have a bunch of them now. We're living in the money, you got Oh. Oh, I might still be too low. Maybe you gotta be a Grandmaster for some of these. If they have nothing to rob, I'm leaving, dude. We should just do the promotion, then. I'm not gonna check every house. We can't. We ain't got all day. Um, oh, I saw the fridge. Wait, wait, wait. This house was locked then. Ha ha! An ether. That's fine. I just gave one away. Hey, aren't you the one who saved Ignitia? That's cool. But why even bother? Just focus on Param. We need you, man. Forget those peasants and and Ignitia, dude. Protect us. Protect us, the already safest town in the in the world. All right. Okay, um, you know, isn't this where they had the Gundam? Is it still being worked on? It is. They're still working on the Gundam. This is for Vados, isn't it? Huh. Guess they're still working on it. Jeez, that means... I can guarantee you fighting Vados isn't going to be enough. Like, if we were to beat them... Oh, look, the recruiter people. What? They probably want to battle me. And we are live with Jerz himself. Not too long ago, he saved the frozen tundra from a whole load of bandits. Tell me, how did you get so strong? My first enemy was a dragon. I just repeat the same skill. I actually... That's actually not wrong. Unfortunately. Oh, well, whatever works, I guess. <laughs> your fans keep asking about your favorite element. Care to tell us more? Fire, not fire. Fire is not really my, not fire. Haha, <laughs> nice one. We all know it's fire. Uh, wait, what? How do you know it's fire? One more thing. Where did you catch that orange Nexamon? All right, this interview's over. <laughs> I was like, orange Nexamon? Are they talking about Boil Gog? Poor Coco. Do I have an orange? He's a close. He's kind of. He's more red. There are some orange spots. Is uh the interview's over? <laughs> All right, that was actually kind of funny. All right, let's go do it. Let's do the exam, guys. Let's stop fooling around. <sighs> Feeling high and mighty. I'm ready for my exam. How may I help you? Oh, a confident one, aren't you? There are three basic requirements to become a Grandmaster. You must be a gold tamer. You must have a reputation of 600, and you must pass the combat challenge. I have two of the... Bro, I have like 1,600 reputation. You're indeed a gold tamer, so that's good. You already have 600 reputation points, so that's fulfilled as well. Therefore, the only requirement left is the combat challenge. Obviously, Grandmasters must be exceptional warriors. You'll have to prove it with a special battle. Would you like to take the challenge now? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what you're made of. Follow me outside for your combat challenge. Uh oh. She's gonna beat me up. Uh oh. Do I? Oh wait. Oh, it's these three chumps. They're all goats. Ladies and gentlemen, the gold tamer Jers has requested become a grandmaster. I can see the determination in his eyes. But does he possess the strength in his heart? The king of hearts. Oh, yeah. We'll find out in a moment. I feel like I'm going to be jumped here. Oh, is this like Nugget Bridge, dude? They're giving me the Nugget Bridge treatment first. Let the first battle commence. Gold Tamer, water type specialist. Ooh. Well, well, well. We meet again. I saw your strength when we fought together in the tundra. Remember me? 
I don't deny your might, but we've protocol to follow. Let's roll, kid. All right, dude. Chill out, little Bruno. And it's, of course, you have... What? Whoa, whoa, we're having to lag here. Of course, you have all water types, and I decided to have right... 300 HP, though? Oh, no, no, no. Get out of here with this lag, dude. He's gonna switch. Oh, my God, more water types. He's, he's just loaded with water. Scalia. Okay, next turn, I'm gonna have to heal, probably. I'm gonna drop a heal. Boom Shakalaka. We're getting a lot of lag. That's so annoying. Maybe I hope they fix that. And we're gonna do some stamina surges, get our stamina back. I might do two turns of that. I might actually do one more turn. Yeah, I think I will. Why not? And now we're gonna punish everybody. Why are you swapping? You're so scared. 300 HP. They must have nothing but HP cores on. I could see that happening for HP cores. Because our stamina is about the same. Are you a cheater, dude? I guess I won't know. Cern Inimpha. Cern Inimpha. Okay. One of those. Cern Inimpha is deleted. One of those. This thing hits hard. I'm just gonna. Actually, we're just gonna be aggressive here. Dude, you just got soloed by my Ryzen, bro. Bro, tell me how Ryzen soloed your entire team. With stamina surge and a, and a, its own heal. Get bodied, bro. That You pretty much leveled me up an entire... Wow, that was literally enough XP to give me an entire level. Fantastic. Ryzen's a monster. You couldn't even handle it, Misty. Get out of here. Wonderfully done. You're destined for greatness. I just know it. And that is the fire type, I bet you. No one's been bested in combat. Let the second battle commence. Oh, it's right away. I don't get to switch. He looks like a fire... Yeah. Yeah, fire type Finn. AA. I owe you one jersey. Save me from Mosimer. Don't be fooled, though. I've grown a lot stronger since that last time. Come at me, mate. Come at me. <gasps> oh, they healed me a little bit. What should I do? Do I go into Pain Up or do we four tank him? Ooh. Let's four tank him. You guys haven't seen it before. <laughs> Gonna give myself a nice shield. It's 25% of my health, my max health. That's about a 60 health shield right now. And we're just gonna go at it here. We're just gonna nip them down. That actually hit really hard and they bound to me. Let's do a recover to kind of counteract it. Okay. Wow. That was a... Uh... Let me do a rock wall too. These guys are gonna be annoying, I can tell already. Now the rock wall does not stop the bind damage. Interesting enough. Now the issue with this guy is he doesn't have a way to get his stamina back. Um... So I'm kind of stuck like Chuck here. I think he needs more stamina items, to be told. And we are, we've broken the bind, finally. I think I might have wasted a turn doing the, uh, not the heal, but the shield might have been a wasted turn, I think. I really don't want to waste, um, an item, truth be told. Let's do a recover here. Oh, recover looks like a bad idea. Let's go ahead and swap. I don't want to waste any items. I don't think these guys are worth items. Let's do Haynock. I still have one more trainer after I need to be aware of. Let's just open up with a recover. That thing hits really hard. Ooh, a fell claw. Okay. Okay. Now, my uh, Tressar would have been having stamina problems, too. Maybe that shield has to go. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll, I'll have to see how we how we spin that around. So here we're gonna get another 15 health right here. Cause we pause back at 90. I'm gonna have to recast um, recover here. I think. Okay, another five turns of it. And as long as he doesn't kill me or get a crit, we should be okay. Okay, he just gave me a free turn. Oh, 
Of course it's a critical hit, dude. That's fine. That's fine. We're gonna let Boilgog get some action in. Um, do I want to waste a revive? I think I'm going to, because I think... Whoa, not a super. Oh my god. Let's just do a regular revive. Uh, these guys need XP, right? They need the XP. Him dying, he gets no XP. This guy was a fool and swapped. Uh, let's go for a head headbutt here. Oh, not that much damage, but I think it's better than doing a fire move. And you, just anything would be great. Let's go for a fire stigma. Fantastic. And now, uh, Haynock. You know, we had more trouble with the fire trainer. Um, I think I need stamina items on my four tank. Just so he could do things for a little longer instead of wasting potions. That's the benefit of having uh, Ryzen. I can get stamina back with Stamina Surge. Don't forget about us when you become a legend. Finn has been defeated. We have one more trainer to go, and I still have, like, two or three Nexamon that are kind of untouched. So we should be okay. Electric Specialist. Ooh, my grass can actually stay here. Ho, ho, ho. You want to be a Grandmaster now. You want to be a star? Aye, aye. Let's see how bright you can shine, friendo. After this, you owe me a date. Alright, let's see how we go. Ooh. Not how I feel about this. Let's do a stamina surge. Let me get... I'm gonna prepare myself for, uh... I just wanted to have at least 70 energy on me, just in case. Okay. Yeah, I think we're okay. Okay, let's go ahead and pop a, a big heal. Boom, and then we're gonna get in here with three stamina surges. With two stamina surges, I can already go ahead and heal again. Stamina surge is so OP, guys. I can, like, stall out fights with this thing for a long time. Uh, I don't know if I could take another hit, because they're faster than me. He's gonna hit me again. He did for 59. Boom, and I just got a bunch of juice back. And now we can do one of these. He's going to end up swapping. Okay, that's, that is a much weaker Nexamon. I can deal with this. And I'm going to actually eliminate you. Actually, no. Let's take advantage of it being really weak and do two stamina surges here. I think I have to get rid of Poison uh, Sting. It doesn't fit. Like, right now my build is quite good. Between these three abilities here... I can leaf dance for like days, bro. Literally for days. That thing's going down. Oh, it's so squishy. You might go down too. Yeah. Dude, Ryzen. Ryzen is so good. Whoever sleeps on Ryzen is literally a fool, guys. Do a stamina surge. I sh probably should have healed there. We're going to heal this next turn to be safe. Because I'm expecting a big damage. Wow, he didn't do a big damage. Uh, let's do two stamina surges. I just like to have the comfort. This is going to be very useful when I have to fight Vados, probably. Okay. Okay, we're looking good. One more hit, and he keeps missing. Oh my god. They're just so intimidated. Ryzen has been the MVP of my Grandmaster Challenge. Two trainers he has handled by himself. Literally by himself. He deserves these levels. I don't want focus. He get get that out of my face. Well, hmm. if my Centaur ever went down, Poison Sting would be my way to defeat Tyrants. But Focus Seed, 15 Evasion. I mean, they could miss more moves. Ah. I'm actually considering it, because Poison Sting is 15% accuracy. If I have Focus Seed in, and I, you know, I do my Stamina Surge and my heals, I could stay in for a long time. I think I'm going to do it. Poison Sting, the 75% accuracy is really such a big turnoff. Um, perhaps we didn't even need Vados. Go on, let's fight again another day. Looks like we're done, guys. We got our Grandmaster. Congratulations to me. And now Riley owes me a date. You did it. Now we can get the not-so-fast kids. Uh-oh. 
The challenge is not over yet. Oh my god, now we gotta fight Emily. Now it's my turn. We have to fight the admin. You're a tamer? My job involves far more than mere paperwork, dear. I'm the reason we have so few grandmasters. Whoa, she's talking smack now, dude. Can you defeat the fourth grandmaster? She's the fourth grandmaster of the guild. Ah, oh, so to become a grandmaster. Oh, they healed us substantially, too. Okay. Come on, baby. I need to get value out of that thing. If he, if he hits me too often, then what's the point of that ability? Oh, my God. We could die here. We can die here. Um, let's risk. Play a little risk. He's swapping. Okay, you went to a normal type. I'm getting sent to Roar and I've had enough of this. You got a lot of normal types. What's up with you? Let's do it then. You have wind and normal moves. Two things Centaur just doesn't care about. Oh, and here's your psychic type. Your psychic type gets to fight mine. Look how a shiny, a cosmic looks. Look at my health bar just continuously blinking really cool um let's do psy geysers here boom it doesn't do a lot of damage because it's another psychic type 47 let's see what plasma does to save some uh, oh my god it's even worse but at least we have a heal right guys <laughs> at least we have a heal they're doing 48 i'm doing about 46 let's pop a heal here that's a hundred health immediately here's a psychic type Okay. That was a foolish move. What's fast? Finish him with plasma. He's still faster than me. Oh yeah. I didn't even need that crit. Oh yeah. Oh, bro, we are hitting him hard. Oh, Glunch versus Glunch. But my health's low, unfortunately. I'm gonna pop a smoke screen and I'm. Wow, he healed for no reason. What a dummy. Let's go ahead and swap out. Now, what's good against Psychics? I think Ryzen is good against Psychics. You've missed, you fat peasant. I guess it's kind of mean to say because I have my own. <laughs> Let's do a Focus Seed, actually. If we're going to be in battle, we need to keep it running. I'm going to pop a heal just to be safe because I don't know how hard Glunch is going to actually hit me. 47, okay. Let's get our Stamina Surge up. Look at that. Oh my god. Yo, the evasion right now is paying off, dudes. The evasion is paying off, and this guy came in to get punished. Oh, he missed. Oh my god. Guys, focus seed is OP, guys. I don't know what. It's, it's not OP, but it's doing really well, is what I meant to say. <laughs> oh god, we are doing work right now. Focus seed. Amazing. Dude, is this team about to get soloed? Who on my team have I not used at all? Dude, Ryzen has been handling almost everybody in the Grandmaster. Oh, look at this thing. I need to get some stamina. Let's be safe here. They're using a bunch of psychic types. Who hasn't been used at all? I have used everyone today. Okay. Let's do another... Stamina. This may be risky. That was extremely risky. Let's go ahead and do a green spirit heal. Woo but guess what? Surprise, baby! And now we're gonna do a stamina surge. We're back in it. And now I can do things like belief dance. They're hitting me a lot for me having my 15%. Uh, they must have like 100% accuracy moves. Let's play it safe and do another green spirit here. Oh, they paralyzed me! Oh! That's actually kind of scary. The paralysis is going to jack me up. Whoa, what is that? It's definitely an illegal Pokemon. Illegal, illegal Nexamon. This paralysis, bro. This paralysis is going to be the end of me. Let's just fight. Let's fight, because I'm going to have to end up dropping uh, this dude soon. I'm going to have to stop using him soon, unfortunately. I don't even know who to put in. Boil Gog, maybe? We can... Oh, I think we can keep going here, dude. They're missing. We can keep going. We're gonna... What is that? What did you just do? I don't know what you did, but you're dead. Out of here. Glunch, you're sending in Glunch. And I'm paralyzed. Oh, God. Ooh, do we take the risk? I'm taking it. We're gonna swap. Uh, 
Um, let's do Boil Gog here. I have heal on Boil Gog. Ouch. I don't think they could do damage higher than that. And I do have heal in the back pocket there. Oh, you can't finish me, fool. Peasant? If he lives, I heal. Alright, and he got burned, too. Dude, thank you for Grandmaster. Ryzen, thank you for carrying me to Grandmaster. Glunch is having troubles. I'm starting to think Glunch needs to be swapped for Doreen. And if I bring in Doreen and they have the water move like when we fought him, do I need Hanok? Probably not. This team is, sub is subject to change more. Ryzen looks like they're staying, though. And Bo Boilgog looks like they're staying. Uh, Centaur is staying. And Fort, Fort Tank is very nice, too. I, I may need to switch an ability on Fort Tank, maybe. If, see if they have something for stamina. I gotta see what rock types have stamina um, regaining abilities. Congratulations, you're officially a Grandmaster of the Guild. Boom. Now we can do the pose and no one can make fun of us. <laughs> Don't jump on the stairs, Grandmaster. She looks so annoyed. <laughs> As a Grandmaster, you have unlocked quite a few perks. For example, like an airship? Y yes, like your own personal airship. You also get access to the upper levels of the Guild Tower. Yep, that means you get to meet Vados himself. Isn't that nice? Super nice. Look at Coco's face. Alright, you also get these rewards. Let's go. Let's go. Many things will be different for you now that you're a Grandmaster. People recognize your authority, unlike a Gold Tamer loser. Oh my god. We're still here, ma'am. I don't care, you're not a Grandmaster, see? Anyway, have fun exploiting your new title, Jers. Oh god. <laughs> that means houses in town. You can't stop me, we did it. Now that you're a Grandmaster, we can use our own airship for the plan against Fados. I wonder where everyone else is, though. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Oh, the mailman. We haven't seen him since Immortal Citadel. Oof, oof. I've got a letter for Jers. You're to meet with your renegade friends at the orphanage. Don't say it so loud. <laughs> you will plan Amelie's downfall and the absolute destruction of Vados at the orphanage. Yes. <laughs> Did you read our mail? God, he said it so loud. I guess this is it. We have everything we need to execute the final plan against Vados. This will reveal that we are traitors of the guild. We'll be persecuted. Are you ready? Do you want to go to the orphanage now? No, no. I didn't really want to do it. <laughs> we can visit it later. Yes, we'll go to the orphanage later. Probably next episode. Uh, all the people moved out of the way. It's because I'm a grandmaster, right? Oh darn, the Grandmaster. I'm a huge fan, sir. The future's looking promising thanks to you. This is for you! Yeah! Max Elixir, baby! That lands Ignatia, the Frozen Tundra. Your work is really turning tables. Keep it up. I saw your Grandmaster ceremony. You fought really well. Who needs Vados when we have people like you? Is it true that you won against Lydia and Iris? Grandmaster's like, you were insane. How do you do it? So many tyrants have fallen thanks to you, Grandmaster. I thought Vados would be the end of this struggle, but the solution was here all along. I brought this for you, baby. Three nature shards. Thank you, nature loving girl. Am I healed? I'm not healed. Well, Central Warrior is a little bit. I want to bust into that house that said it's locked. Does it open now? If not, then I guess we're just going to call it a day. I think it was the one at the very bottom. Is that one? No, it's still locked. I guess no one cares about my authority, man. This is bull. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope I catch you all on the next one. And until then, see ya.